Welcome to a new video lecture. Today we will discuss a problem related with the UDL of small span traveling through a beam. In the previous video lecture we already discussed the concept behind this. So even if you didn't watch, please go and watch the previous video lecture. So please note down the question. A UDL of length 1 meter and intensity 5 kN per meter is crossing a simply supported beam of span 5 meter. Then find the shear force bending moment at a point 1.5 meter from the left support and second one also find the absolute maximum bending moment. Okay. So in this question a simply supported beam is given with the total span length is 5 meter and a UDL of 5 kN meter and its span is 1 meter is traveling from this point A to this point B. And then we are supposed to calculate at 1.5 meter from the point A what is the shear force and the bending moment. And also what will be the maximum bending moment if you place this UDL over this B. So first of all we will find the shear force at the point 1.5 meter. For that we will consider the ILD for 1 kilo Newton. If 1 kN is passing through this AB, then how we can draw the ILD for shear force at C will be in this shape. Already we discussed these lectures in the previous video lectures. So even if you didn't watch, please go and watch the lecture. Okay. So at the point C, the negative shear force will occur when this UDL and its head point touches this C. Okay. Please listen once more when this head of the UDL touches the point C, the negative shear force will be maximum. That is Z by L that equals this Z means this A to C distance. That is 1.5 by 5 gives 0.3. Similarly, when the tail of the UDL touches the C, that means this tail point is just at the point C, the positive shear force will be maximum. That means the remaining distance will be 3.5 by 5 will give the this point value. Okay. Then we have to find out the what will be the end point here where this point is going to after 1 meter where is the end point and we have to find out the ordinate at this point that is y1. Once again if this point C that is head of the point C, head touches at the point C and the tail is at some point away from this C. That is 1 meter away. Since total span length is 1 meter and here the ordinate Y1 to be calculated using similar triangle law. That is, you can consider this small triangle and this bigger triangle. That is, this is your smaller triangle and you have to consider this bigger triangle. So Y1 by 0.5 equals the remaining distance will be 1.5 only. Then we know that this ordinate value is 0.3. So it will give and 1.5 is the total distance and y1 equals 0.1. So you can find out the area under this UDL that is the maximum negative shear force that is in a trapezium shape. So the for, for you can find out that 0.1 plus 0.3 by 2 multiplied by the distance between this point that is 1 then multiplied by the magnitude of the UDL. So you will finally get minus 1 as the value. Maximum negative shear force value is minus 1. Then similarly you can find out the Y2 ordinate. This head of the tail, head of the UDL will be at a point 1 meter away from here. So the ordinate can be again find out using similar triangle law. This small triangle and this bigger triangle, if you consider y2 by 2.5 equals 0.7 by 3.5. So y2 value also you can find out and if you substitute the area of this trapezium, you will get the maximum shear force. 0.7 plus 0.5. 0.7 value is 3.5 by 5. That is 0.7 plus 0.7. 0.5 by 2 multiplied by this span distance is 1 again 
multiplying with this UDL value and finally you get 3 kN. So this is the values relating with the maximum negative and the maximum positive shear force. Then coming to the bending moment diagram, we don't know how to place this UDL. Sometimes this distance of up to this point, we will assume and we will apply the concept we studied in the previous lecture. That is, this point C divides the beam the same ratio that the UDL divides the point C. That is, AC by BC equals A dash C by B dash C. AC by BC equals A dash C by B dash C. So, if we assume this distance, let us assume this A dash C of X. So, the remaining distance will be 1 minus X. How do you got this 1 minus X? The total span length is 1. So, we can say that if it is X, then the remaining distance will be 1 by X. So, if you substitute the values, you will finally get the value of X at 0.3 and 1 minus X at 0.7. That is, here the distance is going to be 0.3 and here it is going to be 0.7. So, in such a way that you have to arrange this UDL, then only you will get the maximum bending moment at the point C. So, after that you can find out the ordinates at this particular point, this Y1 to be calculated, then Y2 to be calculated and this value you can already find out using this Z multiplied by L minus Z by L and you will finally get 1.05. That is the maximum value here. Then, then you can find out this Y1 using this similar triangle law. First you have to consider this small triangle and this bigger triangle. And you can finally find out Y1 and Y2 also you can find out by using this small triangle and this bigger triangle. Okay. Then bending moment at the C can be find out using. First you have to multiply. This you, can, you have to calculate this area. That is y1 0.84 plus 1.05 by 2 multiplied by the distance between the span that is a dash c that is 0.3 okay that is x then you have to add this area first you have to add this area then you have to add this area second area that is 0.84 the y2 value is also you get the same both y1 and y2 are same so, 0.84 plus 1.05 by 2 multiplied by 0 0.7, this distance is varying, that is 0 0.7. Then, whole multiplied by the magnitude of UDL, that is 5, and finally you get 4.725 kN meter as the bending moment at the C. Okay. Then, our question is to find out the maximum bending moment or absolute maximum bending moment when you place this UDL at any point. Okay, so we already studied when a larger UDL or any load passes through a beam, the maximum bending moment will occur at the span center. So you have to consider the total span length is 5 meters, so it is going to occur, occur at the center. So 2.5, the maximum value is going to be 2.5 by 2.5 by 5 equals 1.25. So, we have to place this UDL also correspondingly, that is, the span distance should be equally divided, that is, 0.5 here equals 0.5 also here. So, you can easily find out the Y1 value, both Y1 and Y2 will be equal. So, Y1 by 2, you have to consider, let us consider this, this small triangle and this bigger triangle. So, Y1 by this distance, the remaining distance will be 2. If you subtract this 0.25, 2 plus 0.5 gives 2.5. So y1 by 2 equals 1.25 by 2.5 and y1 equals 1. And y2 is also similarly 1. So you can, you can either take one area and multiply the, into multiply by 2. Both area will be equal. Okay. So, 1 plus 1.25 by 2 multiplied by 0.5 span distance multiplied by 2, 2 trapezium then multiplied by magnitude of the UDL. So, finally you will get 5.625 kN meter. That is the maximum bending moment, bending moment by using 
first you have to calculate the reaction at its supports that is R A and R B. In this case, the magnitude of this UDL is 5 and the span distance is 1 meter. So the reaction cap will be 2.5 will be each reaction. That R A and R B will be 2.5. So you can directly take the distance will be at this point the distance is 2.5. So 2.5 multiplied by 2.5. Then you have to consider this UDL that is its distance is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 multiplied by magnitude is 5. Then you have to take the half the distance that is 0.5 by 2 and finally you get 5.625 kilonewton meter. So both the way you can use find out this uh, magnitude of bending moment that is maximum bending moment. So this is the case related with the uh, when a UDL of smaller span traveling across a beam. So with this we will wind up today's session. Thank you all.